Welcome to Sailing Frida Visby, a real boat life story. Three, two, one! Yeah! We are in the Mediterranean! In this episode we will get our first taste of Mediterranean sailing and med mooring. We are med moored. Yes. For the first time. We are a middle-aged couple that has quit our working life to start sailing. And so far our sailing adventure had taken us more than 5,000 nautical miles along the coast of Europe and out to the Azores and into the Mediterranean Sea. And now it's time for us to leave Gibraltar, Royal Caressa, to go to Estepona. It's been good and we are actually just heading around this pier and there should be an entrance over there to go over there, to Filson Diesel in Gibraltar. So that's the end of the Gibraltar runway. After a short stop in Gibraltar to fill diesel, we are on our way again. Hi, Letta. Mm. Yeah, that's a cozy place. Yeah. I have already brought up some water of water because I think we will need lots of water today. But now we are on our way and now we only have what can it be? Now, yeah but uh, to until we are in the med that can only be about half an hour or an hour or so. Something like that. So we say bye bye La Linea and bye bye Gibraltar. Yep. Gibraltar Lighthouse, which is the official line to the Mediterranean Sea. The famous Gibraltar Rock and one of the pillars in the port of Hercules. Mediterranean Sea! Woo! That was our goal from the beginning. We first thought it would take about six weeks, six, seven weeks. It took us almost two years, but we are very grateful that we didn't rush, that we took the time to look at the Atlantic coast because there's a lot to see and many nice places and we have got some many good uh, experiences and met nice people. Uh, it was a bit cold the first winter in India but the winter in Lagos was great. And the detour around the Atlantic Islands, Madeira and Azores was very, very good. That was a good decision. So much we have experienced during that time. So well worth it. But now we are excited to get into the Mediterranean Sea. It's been an amazing ride to get here. And now a completely new adventure is awaiting. Good. This feels really good to leave this. 
this cliff behind. <laughs> Yesterday, we then made some of the projects that we had bought things for. One of the things we did was that we changed this line for the Janneke. Because it was a little too short. When Anders is sitting where he sits now and wanted to hold it, it's in an infinite loop. And he had very little line to work with. So we changed that. And the second thing that we changed is we have a boom brake. That's good. The problem is when the line for the boom brake is slack, it takes uh, snatches off our ventilation. So here on the roof, so you see we miss one there. It should be equal to that. But it was snatched off the other day when we were sailing uh, by the preventer line. So what Anders did, he hung this little ring, took the line through it, and that is in an uh, core. So they are always kept up and from the roof. Easy solution, which we had thought about it before we snatched the ventilation. of buildable space in Gibraltar. Some skyscrapers over there, they are also in Gibraltar. So that's going to be a completely new part of town. I've heard they actually had to build land before they could build those skyscrapers. Our distance today is only a short one. Less than 20 from here. Yeah. With this speed, we will be there before six. We have uh, reserved a berth in Estepona Marina. The weather forecast said very, very, very light winds. So I think that we will be using some of the cheap diesel we just bought in Ribranta. I think that our tank holds more than 480 liters, which it's stated to do because we just filled it with 490 liters yeah. and um, it was absolutely not dry when we came in so yeah. it was on the red it was on the red but i guess i guess it holds at least 520. but now we have filled it completely and we also filled some uh, jerry cans jerry cans so 40 liter jerry cans and full tank that will take a while before we need to fill up again. Yeah. Now those dolphins could come back because now I have time for them. Why does Dad want the main off? I'm playing here. I have perfect view. Actually, <laughs> so that doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> She's laying on the ladder. Made a step under her stomach. <laughs> that doesn't look comfortable. It's a, you have a nice and cozy blanket over there on the lines. <laughs> no, that's not where she want to be. You have hoisted the main, but as you can see, it's very, very light wind, and we still have the motor on and now, motor sailing. How does it feel to be on the inside? It's nice. The Mediterranean Sea has a surface of 2,500,000 square kilometers. Good. So, one successful project done in Gibraltar then. 
Yeah, the other one works fine too. Yeah. More facts about the Mediterranean Sea. The average depth is 1,500 meters, but the maximum depth is 5,267 meters. That's deep. We have taken the sails away because we have the wind, the little wind that are almost straight from behind. So they didn't do anything. Yes, lovely and very, very warm. I think this is the warmest sail we have had for quite some time. It's quite nice despite we have no wind. A little bit more wind so that we have been able to sail have been good, but uh, this is fine too. We are testing to mount Anders' iPad with the cameras so that he can see the port side of the boat when we're docking. We have some little bit of trouble. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that works. That might even be better. That's yeah, perfect. Almost there. That's the phone now. So, now we are more at the waiting contour. Now here in Estefona we are going to try something new because here we have to do an aft mooring with the aft in and with the mooring lines, not, not, uh, not fingers. And we haven't tried that before, so what um, there's absolutely no wind and uh, the mariners are here to help us. So. I think we will be okay, but it's always a little bit nervous when you do something for the first time. We are mad moored yes. for the first time. We really don't know if this is a good distance, but we don't want to be too close. And, and well, I just can show, I understand. This, this is why they call it slime lines. Yeah, and now I understand why uh, Anshane ABC always wore a, a black um, t-shirt when doing this, because I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, and this is not what you want to do, see when you're backing onto your slot. Oh, that was a little like uh not good so i'll need to fix that i must admit that is kind of beautiful celebrating that we have made it all the way to the med so cheers everyone anders is focused because he's checking up how long our distance will be tomorrow Is that a yeah, you made it to, to Estepona. <laughs> okay, we are going to do a little exploration here in Estepona and we are going to pass by the marina office because we decided to stay one night extra. Uh, so we are going to go there and pay for it. This is for my daughter Anna. Have you seen this cactus? That's the restaurant where we ate yeah, last night. It was really good duck. Nice houses along the street. I like those houses. Really like flowers. Time for our departure. And um, well, it's the first time leaving a mid morning. So let's see how it goes. That wasn't so difficult. No, not in this light wind anyway. Yeah. So, fairly easy and we had plenty of space as well. So, 
Bye-bye. Next stop, Ben and Madeira Map. Now the captain is satisfied. We left without any hazard and uh, or hassle and um, he's got his coffee. The only problem is that we're going straight towards the wind. I was a bit nervous about the slime and we didn't really know how to do it, but um, we watched out a video from, uh, I think it was Nisa's charters in Greece. Thank you. <laughs> uh, because it aided us uh, a little bit to give an idea of how to do it. And this is down below to run the water maker. Because we haven't used it for a long week, and so we are making some water. It looks like the sun is breaking. There's a sailboat coming over yeah. there somewhere. He's over there. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it for a long time. Time to do some cooking. I'm going to make lunch. Today will be five sausages with a salad. It's nice fresh tomatoes that I bought in Estepona. Mm, they smell wonderful. Some Greek salad, sausages, Venska köttbollar and uh, tortilla de patata. Swedish meatball. And bread. Mm. So we won't stop today either. I think food while you're at sea is really important. Food is uh, not only necessary, it's also a joy. And we do this because it should be a joy. So therefore you should eat good while you're at sea. And the other reason is actually because you're less prone to be seasick if you have food in your stomach. So eat a little bit, not eat completely full, but eating so that you are like 80-90% full regularly while you're at sea is a very good method to not get seasick. Good food is important. Yeah. This kind of wind was not in the forecast. Nope, it's 30 knots. Yeah. Straight in our nose. It's a bit lively, I would say. We had about... 30 knots earlier, now it's down now it's down to 20 and straight in the walls so the boat is um, what do you call it stamping a little bit um, because the waves are not big but they're a bit choppy. I had to tie up my vegetable because they were swinging back and forth way too much. Do you have anything to add? No, nothing. Nothing. You're just laying there and having it nice in the sunshine and out of the wind. <laughs> now it's nice again, and the sea state has calm down significantly. Where are the Oh. Here, our sailing queen was born. We met a couple from USA that had a boat called Rats Wisdom and we had a fantastic evening together. And on the way back to the hotel, we decided this is what we want to do. office to check us in. The bus that we are going, it's uh, going to be another bed morning with stone too and slime lines or mooring lines that they are officially called. But slime line is more correct because that is exactly what it is. Oh. Oh. Now we think we are in place. Whew. This is this is like uh, an hour in the gym. 
and this is sitting down below to make a new uh, electrical connector cable. I think it was the only one that we didn't have that was the one we needed here. And yeah, I have just made some lunch and since it's really warm, I don't know, but it's at least 25 degrees, you're sweating just by sitting in the shadow. Uh, I made a tuna salad and Litsa is up. I keep an eye on everything, especially the tuna salad. Litsa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you checking things out? Huh? This is the inner part of the marina here in Bella Marena. And it's a bit strange because here they are kind of islands with flats on it. And we are on our way to an aquarium is where we're going. Seahorse, the one that was kind of I was looking for in Palatra. Is it small? No, not that small. It's actually kind of big. <laughs> A shark. I actually thought the sharks had to swim, but this one is laying still. This is this is quite cool. It is. With a thunder like this. There's another shark, yeah. And now we're back. And this is some, something that I really don't like to do. It will take a long time before I get used to that. What do you say, Lisa? Are we ready for departure? We set the course to wash more trail. Like we can sail. We actually didn't expect that, but it seems to be wind enough. And you know, healthy captain. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Especially with the diesel prices right now. And this is beautiful. We don't have a lot of the mine, but most of it. We don't think we need it. The thing is that the weather is tricky. Yeah. Sometimes it takes like two minutes for it to blow twice as hard. Yeah. So don't need to be overpowered though. Yeah. I thought that we were going to winter in Montreal last year, but or actually the year before that, because we got stuck on the other side of of Bay of Nice to be on the way again, at least. Even though we had only been two nights in Bella Madama, but uh, two nights there was enough. But the good thing about the touristy place was that we managed to find a place that had some really good red meat beef. Tempted is the answer. Oh, and Evel. Yeah, Och det var väl ungefär vad vi hade beräknat även med motor. Ja. Och jag tänkte vi kör vi kör ganska precis rakt på målet nu. Ja. If you look over there, you can see tiny little cloud in the haze. And that's the cloud that gives us some wind. As long as it stays like this, we are pretty happy. We sail in the same speed that we had planned to motor. In the right direction also. I'm practicing on my hand steering skills. Which is not that easy because the wind is not stable today. It's very light wind, which is good. Not much waves. That is exactly what I wanted to exercise a little bit because I'm not so good at reading, reading the wind and following the wind. So got a whole bunch of dolphins wow. after us. Big group. 
they are about 100 meters away from the boat. Time for lunch, my darling. Italian risotto. Ah, nice and quiet, except for the VFS. It works. We, we are thinking that it's a little too foggy. We have a couple of hundred meters of visibility. So, and we are going to eat, so we might be a little bit off guard. So we also have the active radar reflector. I take back what I said about peace and quiet. <laughs> we had the foghorn and we had the alarm from um, the autopilot. And talk on the VFS at the same time. Finally we see a little bit of coats again. It's been quite foggy for a while. Now it looks like the fog is lightening up a little bit. You can see more of the coastline. We are also closer to the coastline, which uh, I actually think we are close to um, the Islam where the Naya Caves are, which is a place that I really would like to see. Despite I know that the chamber where the very early cave paintings are from prehistoric man. I'm not open for the public, but uh, I think it would be an interesting excursion. Marina del Motel, Marina del Motel, Marina del Motel. This is Frida of Visby, Frida of Visby. Carrying the lines, we don't know if it will be mid morning or if it will be on catwalk or gangwalk, whatever it's called. Well. This is the harbor. Time to dock again. We have begun to put the kayak here on foredeck when we are about to moor, especially when we don't really know how we are going to moor, uh, so that it's not going to be in the way. In the next episode, we will make a little road trip. Just arrived. Thank you for watching, and uh, remember the adventures continue. And thumbs up always makes us happy.